Hello friends and our dental family. I just have to tell you after today and the past few months of being back to work, I feel like we're up to our elbows and bleeding gums and gingivitis. Um, no fault of our patients. It's just been a little bit of time since um, they've been able to get in. So sometimes everybody, not sometimes, most everyone's overdue. We're working really hard to get everybody back in, but I thought it'd be a nice opportunity for me to put a post out um, to everybody about what you can do to slow down or calm down the inflammation in the gums, which is what gingivitis is, the start of gum disease. And if it's caught early enough, it is a reversible condition, but if a tartar buildup stays on the gums, it can transition into something called periodontitis, which is bone loss gum disease and that's not reversible. So a couple of quick tips today to help you out and try to help um, the gums kind of calm down until you can come in or see your own dentist if you're not a patient of ours. Um, every day, do your best. I know we're all out of routine, which is part of the problem. Find your new routine. Make sure you find the time to brush and floss twice a day, okay? Uh, for those of you who are not flossers or who have a history of bone loss or dental implants and bridges, you may want to use something um, called a hydrofloss. Again, I don't get money for this. It's just one of our favorite products in our office that we do sell and you can find them on Amazon or at Hydrofloss yourself. But these are irrigators and I love this one because it's pressurized so you can really get into the nicks and crannies at a high enough pressure. Aside from that, the handle is magnetized so it ionizes the water and makes um, the polarity of your enamel change so the bacteria doesn't want to bind on it so readily. It does take a lot of space um, on our vanities so a lot of people don't like that but it is an awesome tool. Our favorite floss that our patients buy here again you can find it directly through cocoa floss is coconut infused coconut oil infused dental floss they taste amazing but more importantly it does have coconut infused in it so that it helps the inflammation in our gums coconut oil has a beautiful anti-inflammatory response in our body and also the way the floss kind of uh, splays out it picks up the bacteria better than these super waxy flosses and it doesn't shred you know i never used um, floss like this before because it typically shredded in my mouth Ever since I started using this two years ago, I absolutely love it. Would never go back to anything else. And then uh, one of the other adjuncts you can use is something, again, you have to get it in a dental office. It's a product called Eco. Uh, again, I've been using this two years myself preventatively. What it does is that it has hydrogen peroxide in it, sodium bicarbonate, and also xylitol. It's a toothpaste adjunct. So we have our patients putting it right on top of their toothpaste. You don't rinse after you use it, you just spit. And the peroxide, again, really helps um, this bactericidal and helps keep the bacteria numbers down in our gums. So you can see your favorite hygienist, if it's not ours, Mahalat is the bomb. But um, anyway, this really helps to get the gums healthier and also preventatively. Also keeps the teeth whiter too because of the peroxide, which is fantastic. And then lastly, uh, just a tip, with all of us using our mask all the time, um, we tend to be mouth breathing more. So whether you have a cloth mask or a thick N95 mask, you might find yourself constantly mouth breathing and mouth breathing is totally unhealthy for us. We are obligate nasal breathers. So try to focus on keeping your tongue to the roof of your mouth because when our tongue is up on our palate, it will encourage nasal breathing. We can't breathe through our mouths when our tongue is up on our palate. So focus on that and that will also help, um, you know, suppress some of that gingivitis. Hope you found this helpful.